All right, Kellen, now we're going to take a look at your butterfly as you're coming towards the camera from the underwater view. Uh, you can see your entry here in front of the shoulders. Again, you can just kind of see that vacuum of water as your hands are coming in. They're entering, and if I draw it, they're entering right here. And then you can see the little bit of underwater um, kind of movement as the hands are slicing in to the water and creating the kind of that water displacement. You can see the underwater view of how the water is getting splashed. Um, but the head positions down really nicely, eyes down below. And then we can just see on both those hands how you're sweeping out uh, with both your palms before you start the catch. We want those palms at the entry as you have them to be palm down. So they should be palm down right here and not turning to the side. You're going to catch the water and push those elbows up high into that catch and not sweep out. Um, on breaststroke, the sweep is, is an effective way to get your catch. Uh, on butterfly, that's not what we want to do. We want to catch that water. And then what that does is create that nice wide pull. So as you're coming underneath the body, you don't really get in tight underneath the body. So here you can see your hands here well outside the hips and well outside the hips here. If we sweep in with our arms, your hands at the elbows should be right underneath the thigh as they're going back to exit. So they should be underneath the body a little bit more. And we'll see it in the next frame as well as you come forward and then enter. And then you can just see you sweep out. We want to pull straight back. And then you can just see here, we want to be even in closer than this. So instead of right there, your elbow should be here. Your hand should be here underneath the body. And same thing here. So if you, you pull back a little bit straighter, your hands are going to be a lot closer underneath the body, giving a lot more leverage and power to that pull. Um, and, and then they're going to finish a lot further back and closer to the hips uh, instead of pulling out wide. Um, but that, that'll help you quite a bit. Now I'll do a little comparison uh, between you and Talia to kind of show you the difference in not turning those hands out of the front end of the stroke. I can't decide if I'm going to do it from the side or the front, but I'll do a little comparison for you as well.